Hello, hello, and welcome to part 5 of this series, where we're going through the Pokémon names in Japanese and figuring out their direct translations, meanings, and or origins. Being part 5, you'd be right in assuming that we're covering the 5th generation. And, once again, I've brought along Mika, a native Japanese speaker, to help us pronounce these names as clearly as possible. As after all, I would butcher them. So, let's just get right into it! Oddly, starting with a non-starter Pokémon, because the Gen 5 Pokédex is just weird. Bikutini comes from English words. Victory, Destiny, Teeny, and Tiny. Starja is Japanese for Japanese Ivy and Snake. Janobi comes from Japanese for Snake mixed with English Canopy or Ivy. Jaroda Japanese snake, English lord, referring to its honorable position. Pokabu is a combination of Japanese words meaning pig, oink, and the feeling of warmth circulating throughout one's body. Yep, there's a single word for that sentence. Chaobu comes from Japanese and Chinese, Japanese pig and oink, and Chinese super, and stir fry. Ha! It's like naming a pig bacon. Enbuo. A combination of flame, pig, martial arts, oink, and king. Mijumaru is a combination of water, immature, and round. Futachimaru is a combination of two, long sword, and maru, which was a common Japanese name for boys in feudal Japan. Daikenki literally, big sword wielding demon. However, the official name's pronunciation is the Onyomi reading of the name, which basically means the Chinese reading of Japanese characters, at which point it means big sword master. Minezumi literally, looking mouse. Miruhoggu Japanese, to observe, English groundhog. Also, possibly meerkat. Yotedi is a shortening of Yorkshire Terrier, the breed of dog that it is. Haderia from English herd, as in herding dogs, and terrier. Murando Japanese for shaggy hair and English land. Choroneko a combination of to pilfer or steal and cat. Leparudasu is a combination of English's leopard and Greek leopard. It's leopard leopard. Yanappu English ape and Japanese willow and vegetable. Yanaki English monkey and Japanese willow, vegetable, vigor, and delinquent. Baoppu English ape, Japanese burst, Chinese explode. Baoki English monkey, Chinese explode, Japanese burst, and vigor. Hiyappu English ape and Japanese cool water. Hiyaki English monkey, Japanese cool water, and, you guessed it, vigor. Munna The same name in English. From Latin for moon, Japanese flower, and onyomi Japanese dream. Mushana same name in English, from Latin for moon, on Yomi Japanese dream, and the Japanese onomatopoeia for eating, as it eats dreams. Mamepato Tiny pigeon, or diligent pigeon, as both tiny and diligent sound the same. Hatobo Now this is a really cool name, it's super interesting. It comes from Japanese entirely, and it's a combination of words meaning pigeon, escape, and shaggy hair. Also, I never noticed until now, but this Pokemon has a mullet. What the heck? Also, there is a famous Japanese poet, Kenji Miyazawa, who would frequently write about his ideal world, named Ihatobe, which may also be an inspiration of this name, as its Pokedex entry states that there is a place in the forest where this Pokemon lives, and it is a peaceful place with no war. Thus, it's clearly a reference to this guy's ideal world. After all, Pokemon Black and White was all about truth versus ideals. Ken Horou. And then we get this name, which just derives from words meaning curt and the two onomatopoeias for a pheasant cry. Shimama is a corruption, meaning a misspelling or mispronunciation, of their word for zebra. 
ゼブライカ。English zebra mixed with Japanese flash of lightning. ダンゴロ。Is a really fun one. It comes from words meaning Japanese dumpling, a grounder, which is a baseball after it's been hit by a bat and then strikes the ground, as well as the onomatopoeia for the sound of a boulder rolling. Gantoru is from Japanese rock and English mantle. Gigaiasu comes from Greek for giant, the Greek goddess of the earth, Gaia, and Goliath. Koromori is a combination of Japanese words for heart. Bat and the sound of a rolling thing. Kokoromori. Same as the previous name, from the sound of a rolling thing, bat, and heart, but this time, heart is written out in a way that means it has emphasis. Moguryu. Japanese for mole, English for screw or shrew. Doryuzu. Is a combination of the kana spelling of English's drill, as well as Japanese spiral and onyomi Japanese for mole. English's bulldozer may play a part too. Tabunne. This is literally a phrase that roughly translates to maybe? Question mark? But you just remove all the spaces between the kana? But in a pun like situation, this can also come from many are heard and earlobe. Ha! Dokkora. Greek for timber, mixed with the Japanese phrase said when lifting a heavy object as a team, roughly translating to our heave ho! Dotekkotsu. Greek for timber, mixed with Japanese for steel frame. Robusin. Is a combination of words meaning old, warlord, and public construction work. Otamaro. Is a combination of the word that means tadpole and musical notes. Yeah, they have one word for both. It's similar to how we have the word duck, which means to bend over, and duck, as in the bird. They have one word, and it's tadpole or musical note. Anyway, then that one word is combined with the suffix for shaved eyebrows. Gamagaru is a corruption of the name for the Japanese common toad. Gamageroge toad and the onomatopoeia for croaking. Nageki From words meaning to throw, to strike, and demon, as it looks somewhat like an oni. Dageki. Literally, to blow or to strike. It may also involve demon. Kurumiru. Is derived from walnut tree and to wrap up. Kurumayu. Is a combination of to wrap up and cocoon. Hahakomori. Is a combination of leaf. Mother and babysitting. Fushide is a combination of segment and centipede. Hoiga from Japanese sphere and English wheel. Pendora is a shortening of scolopendra, which is the family that centipedes and millipedes are in. Momen is a corruption of cotton. Elfun Is a combination of English elf and typhoon, as well as Japanese for wind. Churine is a combination of words meaning tulip, lily bulb, and root. Doredia is fully a combination of English words, meaning this name could have worked very well in English too. The words used are dress, deer, lady, and dianthus, which is a genus of flowering plants. Basurao. Comes from English bass and Japanese warrior spirit and bakalhau, which is a method of preparing dried and salted cod. Meguroko is Japanese for black eyed, mixed with English's crocodile. Warubiru is Japanese for bad or sinful, as well as English's vile, crocodile, and gavile, a type of crocodilia. Warubiaru Japanese for bad or sinful and gavile. Darumaka is a corruption of Daruma doll and it may also involve macaque. Hihi Daruma. Here's a fun one Japanese for fire, scarlet, baboon, Daruma doll, and the state of being on fire. Funny how all those words sound similar. Maracachi comes from English cactus and Spanish maraca or mariachi. Ishizumai means living in a stone. Iwa Palace Japanese rock, English palace. Zurugu 
a combination of words meaning sneaky person, crafty, and the sound or act of dragging something loose, referring to its pants. Zuruzukin. A combination of words meaning sneaky person, crafty, the sound of dragging something, and hood, also possibly English's skin, as its baggy pants and hood are made of its shed skin. Simbora. From English's symbol, Bora, a specific type of wind commonly found around the Mediterranean Sea, and also possibly Ra, the Egyptian god. Desumasu. Here's a really fun one. It's from English's death and mask, but with a very strong Japanese accent. Notably, because of the accent applied to the name, it also becomes a pun. Not only is it death mask, but it's also desumasu tai a polite and respectable manner of speaking Japanese. This pun may be here, as this is the type of Japanese you would speak at a funeral. Sorry for your loss and all that. Deskan. English death, Japanese coffin. Protoga is a combination of protostega, an ancient species of now extinct turtles, and tortuga, which is Spanish for turtle. Abagora a combination of words meaning shell, rib cage, and to thrash around violently. Arken. Same name in English, a shortening of Archaeopteryx, which is the ancient creature it's based on. Archaeos. Is from a shortening of Archaeopteryx as well as the ancient Greek word archaios, meaning ancient. Yabukron. A combination of words meaning bag, to tear, to get torn, and loose fitting or baggy. Dust dasu. is a combination of English's dust and Japanese for to extrude or produce, meaning it could be seen as to produce dust, as it eats trash and turns it into dust. Zoroa is a combination of Zorro, which is Spanish for fox, as well as possibly Madra Rua, which is Irish for fox. Rua by itself, however, is also Irish for red, likely referring to the tuft of red fur. Zoroaku is Spanish for fox, combined with English's dark and Japanese for evil. Arc could also be taken as arc, meaning the top, the all high, the chief. Chidami. No, it's not a chill army. From Spanish chinchilla and charm, then they add a Y at the end to make it sound cuter. Chirachino. is a combination of chinchilla and chino cloth, a type of fabric made from 100% cotton, and the suffix ino can typically denote something small or cute. Gochimu. comes from gothic, as well as Japanese words meaning to observe and precognitive dream, meaning to see the future in your dreams. Gochimiru. from gothic and Japanese for to observe. Gochiruzeru is a combination of the words gothic and mademoiselle, which is a fancy French way of saying miss. Unirang is another fun one. This name literally means they will join together in Spanish, but breaking it down, we also get uni, meaning one, and Japanese for spawn. One has spawned, and they will join together to form... Daburang which gets its name from English's double and Japanese spawn. Lankurusu is from Japanese for spawn, disorder, and Anglican homunculus. Koaruhi is a cute, corrupted way of saying child duck or small duck. Suanna same name in English, from swan and possibly ballerina. Baniputsi from English vanilla and French for small, petite. Vanillici. From English's vanilla and rich, referring to either its rich vanilla flavor or that it is abundant with vanilla. Bai vanilla. Is from Japanese for double and English's vanilla. Shikijika. Is from deer and four seasons, referring to its change in appearance based on the season. Mebukijika comes from deer and to bud. Emonga is a combination of words meaning drapery or dress, referring to its skin flap wings, and the scientific name for the Japanese dwarf flying squirrel. Kaburumo is derived from their word meaning to bite or stick into. Shubarugo 
is a combination of French words meaning night and snail. Tabagetake is a combination of words meaning sphere, referring to its Pokeball looks. To be astonished, referring to how a person reacts upon realizing it's a Pokemon and not a Pokeball, and mushroom. Borobareru is a shortening and a corruption of a slang term that roughly translates to a secret has been completely exposed, referring to its secret of not actually being a Pokeball. Pururiru. Japanese soft and rill, which is very similar to English frill. Burungeru. Is from the Japanese pronunciation and contraction of the English's blue angel, referring to sea ghosts. Mamambou. Mama and the Japanese name for the ocean sunfish. Bachuru. Is from the onomatopoeia for electric crackling and the Japanese pronunciation of tarantula. Also, English is bug and chu, an alternate reading of mushi, meaning bug. Denchura. Chu as in bug, tarantula, and their words for electricity and light pole. Teshido. Japanese iron, English seed. Nattorei. Here's another fun one. It could be English and Spanish and literal. That being nut and Spanish for king. <laughs> it's the nut king. Though Spanish for king also happens to be Italian for three anglicized, referring to its three appendages. Giaru. A cute way of saying gear. Gigiaru. A cute way of saying gear with an added syllable to denote the added gear. Gigigiaru. A cute way of saying gear with two added syllables to denote the extra gear once again. Shibishirasu. Comes from the Japanese name for electric eel mixed with numbness and white bait, which is the immature fry of a fish. Shibibiru is also from the Japanese name for the electric eel, as well as numbness, the onomatopoeia for an electric shock, and English's eel. Shibirudon. Again, from the Japanese name for the electric eel, numbness, and then also don, Latin for lord or boss, and Greek for tooth, referring to its big old teeth. Digude. Here's another really fun one. So this Pokemon's name in English is a corruption of the abbreviation for Little Green Men, it's LGM. It's a common term used to refer to aliens, especially in old sci-fi movies. Notably though, Japanese characters when written out with our alphabet each have two or more letters, so abbreviations don't work quite the same way. But they still manage to get this to work. Li is for little, Guru for green, and A for alien. Ligre. Awesome! And it has a double meaning as greys are another common way to refer to aliens. Oh, baby. This name is similar, but not the whole name. The last bit, bem, is an abbreviation for bug-eyed monster, an old-fashioned term for referring to alien monsters. Then, the beginning of the name can mean large in Japanese, or possibly orb. Hitomoshi. Literally, as in it's just the word, Japanese for to light a lamp. Though, what's cool is that this term is also used to describe someone who leads a Japanese funeral procession with a torch. And as a triple meaning, this word is phonetically the same as the phrase meaning to burn a man to death, referring to how Litwick's line are all able to burn at people's souls. Lampura is derived from lamp. The suffix er tends to mean it does something. So it does something with lamps. It lights lamps. Chandera is a corruption and combination of chandelier and candelabra, which is Latin for candle. Kibako is a combination of Japanese words meaning tusk and jaw, and English's dragon may play a part too. Onondo Japanese for axe and Greek for tooth. Ononokusu Japanese axe, English axe, and Japanese to tremble. Kumashun Japanese for bear and the sound of sneezing. Tsunbea. A combination of tundra and bear with a little bit of Japanese for icicle in there. Fudijio. This name could also have worked well in English as it's all from English. It's from freeze, frigid, and geometrical. Chobomaki. Combines words meaning to coil or roll up and a puckered up mouth, like a kissy face. 
アギルダ。English is combination of agile and writer, but with a Japanese accent. マッギョ。Japanese accented mud and Japanese for fish. コジョフ。Japanese for ermine and fu from kung fu. コジョンド。Japanese for ermine and do, meaning teachings, and commonly used in terms for martial arts, judo, taekwondo, etc. Kurimugan. A Japanese accented way of saying crimson and Japanese for face. Gobito. Japanese accented way of saying golem, robot, and bit, all combined. Gorugu. Japanese accented way of saying golem and cyborg. Komatana、is a combination of Japanese words such as katana and kogatana, which are types of blades, as well as koma, a piece in the board game shogi. Similar to how in English it's poniard, a pawn is a piece in the board game chess. Kirikizan is a combination of words meaning to mince and to cut and slay. Bahuron from English buffalo, afro, and bison. Washibon Is another fun one. It's a combination of Japanese for eagle and Filipino for bird, and may reference the Hariban, also known as the Philippine Eagle. And on top of all that, it may also reference Washington, America's first president. This Pokemon and its line are both bald eagles found in Unova, which is based on New York, and America is called the land of the brave, and its second evolution is Braviary. You know, this is a super American thing. It's all red, white, and blue, and a little bit of yellow. But, but you know, it's because it's a bird. But its name isn't Braviary in Japanese now, is it? In Japanese, it's. Woguru. Which is also fun. It's war and eagle. America loves its war. And notably, a warble is the sound an eagle makes. Barutai. Vulture with a strong Japanese accent combined with Japanese for baby. Barujina. Uh huh. Let's keep this video monetized. No jokes here. This comes from English vulture and Latin for queen. Though I mean, this is an all female Pokemon line, so. Kuitaran. Literally means has not eaten enough. And notably, part of that phrase is the same as part of their word for anteater. Ayanto. Japanese iron, English ant. Monozu. A Greek prefix meaning one and Japanese for head. Zihedo. A Greek prefix meaning two, which is very similar to Japanese for two, and English's head. Sazandora. Japanese for three, and English's dragon with a Japanese accent. Meraruba. The Japanese onomatopoeia for flaring and English larva. Urugamosu. Is from the Japanese name for Vulcan, the Roman god of fire, as well as Japanese for moth and English's moth. Kobaruon is from English, cobalt and champion. Terakion is the same name in English, from terra, which is Latin for earth, terracotta, a type of clay, takin, and champion. Viridion the same name in English, from viridian, viridis, which is Latin for green, and champion. Tornados is from English, tornado. And Aeolus, the ancient ruler of the winds in Greek mythology. Boltoros is from English volt and Aeolos, the modern Greek way of saying the name of the ruler of the winds in Greek mythology. Lesiram, Zekrom. These Pokemon have names that relate to each other, and interestingly, they are pretty interesting name origins. Very original. So each name contains the Japanese word for their respective colors, black and white. Then, in an interview with the designer Ken Sugimori, he pointed out that the beginnings of the names were chosen as a way to further differentiate them. Rei, thus Reshi, sounds soft. Ze, thus Zekar, sounds hard. Zekrom is physically more powerful than Reshi Ram and lacks fluffy fur, thus is harder. They also both end with harder and softer sounding suffixes, and there's way more depth to these names too. But that's for another time. Moving on. Landoros is from English land and Greek ruler of the skies. Kuremu the same name in English, coming from Japanese words meaning cold and rapid cooling. And interestingly, if you reverse the kana, you get words meaning snow and nothing. 
referring to its empty, essentially soulless body. Also, the Rem Ender may coincide with the Rom and the Ram of Zekrom and Reshiram. Rem Ram Rom. Keldio. Same name in English, from Kelpi, which is a Celtic mythical water horse, and Rodeo. Meroetta. Same name in English, from Melody and Pirouette, which is a type of movement in ballet, as well as Et, a feminine suffix. Genosecto. Same name in English, which can come from gene, genetics, genome, genesis, and obviously, insect. And that's it. <laughs> that's a lot of Pokemon. Thankfully, the next couple of generations didn't add quite as many. Or is that a bad thing for Pokemon? It's just good for me in this series. Hmm. Who knows? But I'm looking forward to it, so be sure to subscribe so you're notified of when that posts. And until next time, please remember to never stop using your noggin.